Don't forget to subscribe to receive other mind-blowing stories. One of the greatest gifts God will give a man is hunger. Do you know what saves a child when a child is born? Is hunger. Any child who is born without the gift of hunger will die in the hospital. And so when a child is born, after the gift of life, the second gift God gives a child is hunger. That hunger is what educates that child to begin to look for what to eat, even without going to school. If he doesn't have hunger, he will die. Because he won't know that he needs strength. He won't know he needs to eat. He will die. Do you know what the Bible said? It said, blessed are they that hunger and test after righteousness. Hunger is a blessing in the spirit. And so when God wants to help a man, he gives him insatiable appetites. You pursue the presence. You pursue the things of the spirit. You can dwell there for aeons. How would Moses, a man of over 80 years, climb Mount Sinai? Sinai is over 7,000 feet tall. Do you know how many blisters he had on his leg when he was climbing? A man of over 80 years. He will climb and fall, but he kept climbing because he knew on top of that mountain dwelt the glory of God. And the only thing he wanted to see was the Shekinah. When God told him, Go, the angel of the Lord will go with you. He said, if you don't go with us, we won't depart from here. That was a man who saw Egypt collapse. He had seen power with a rod. He shut down the strongest civilization of the then world with a rod. The rod of Moses was the rod of God. He was the one who saw a sea part. And he said they walked on dry ground. The things Moses did, nobody imagined it before that time. Moses could turn his staff towards a sea and the sea becomes blood. And every water in people's houses became blood because Moses saw. Moses could stretch his staff and thunder and lighten it with strike for a whole day. Moses could call darkness and darkness will come from nowhere. And the Bible will say the darkness was so thick you could feel it. He walked in such power but there was one hunger Moses had. Show me thy glory. He said, no man see me and live. I'm willing to die. Show me thy glory. What is life without your glory? And he said, I will cause you to hide by the cleft of the rock. And I will cover you with my hand. And my glory shall pass by. That was when Moses became a God. Because when a man sees God, he becomes like him. The Bible said, it does not yet appear what we shall be like. He said, but when we shall see him, we shall be like him. The moment Moses saw the glory, he became immortalized. Moses could no longer die. God had to kill him. Because if you leave Moses, till today, he will still be walking on the earth. Till today, because of what he saw, he couldn't die anymore. And when God wanted to kill Moses, he killed him in hiding. Because if you know how to kill Moses, you will know how to kill a God. It was a technology that existed only among the Godhead. Did you not read? Even the dead body of Moses, the devil came for it. So a man's dead body who is immortalized is more relevant than a living person who has no immortality. The devil came looking for Moses' dead body. They want to take it to the museum of hell so that they can study Moses. Demons wanted to study what was in Moses that made him to be mortal. And God, God will mobilize an archangel to come and fight for the dead body of a man. And you will think that body will decay. Many years later, when Jesus came, Moses wore that body again and still came to the Mount of Transfiguration. Because that body had become an immortal body. But what was the foundation? Show me thy glory. I have seen power. I have seen influence. I have seen wealth. They left Egypt with the gold of Egypt. If what he was looking for was money, he had more than enough. Is he influence? Any city Moses is passing, the whole nation began to fidget. They say anywhere they pass, they lick it up. 
He had so much influence. And there was a law in the spirit concerning Moses. He said, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. If they carry stone, they will win battles. The greatest influence, he had it. In fact, Moses was given authority by God to shape the first known civilization that was consistent with the patterns of heaven. First, he built the ark. He said, build according to the pattern that was revealed to you from the mount. And secondly, he built the culture of Israel. He said, teach them laws. Teach them status. Teach them ordinances. So God used Moses to create a culture among men that resembles the heavenly colony. How did he know if he had not had access to the civilizations of the spiritual? He had seen things that were beyond the star. When Moses became old, Moses said, gather around me, Israel. I will bless you. He had the stature to bless a nation. And he didn't just bless them. He began to tell them about the things that will happen at the end of time. He said, I saw the Lord descending from the mountains of Paran. I saw the Holy One coming from Mount Sia. He was talking about the battle of Amegiddo. That is when Jesus will return from heaven with 10,000 saints to fight in the last day. Moses saw Jesus not just when he was born, but in his glory at the end of time. He saw the end from that mountain where he stood. But there was one appetite. Show me thy glory. The foundation of immortal power is hunger for God. When a man lacks hunger in the spirit, he's a dead man. Nothing surpasses hunger. Not money. Not influence. Not anointing. Hunger. Everything rests on hunger. Everything rests on hunger. When hunger comes upon you, you can be chained into anything. The guy will be there for 40 days without food, without water. He won't be aware. He didn't plan a 40 days fast. He was just kept there by hunger for 40 days. When he came down, they calculated and discovered it was 40 days. And when he descended, he saw the children of Israel worshipping idols. He broke the commandment and fell on his face for another 40 days. So Moses didn't fast for 40 days. He fasted for 80 days. He fell on his face. But there was something he had with God that was superior to what men crave for. I pray for you this morning. Ah. Hunger, hunger for God. Hunger, hunger for God. Hunger. They say, as the deer panted after the waters, so my soul longed after thee. In a dry and in a thirsty land where no water is. To see your glory, even as I saw it in the sanctuaries of God. Mere Kenato Balagia, Zayana, Manek, Perato, Falagati, Azusa Hata, Mariana Panekos. Don't forget to subscribe to receive other mind-blowing stories.